For 2022, it was exciting times for the YZ125 as Yamaha de decided to redevelop their 125 bike. And it wasn't just small changes, it was a full overhaul. I've ridden the bike quite a few times. I was very excited about riding the bike on the Yamaha launch in Italy. The bike, to me, has ticked a lot of boxes. The power that the bike produces is more from mid to top. Um, you do have to ride this bike different to the previous model. Me personally, I think the bike has such a good foundation base um, this year um, that it's quite exciting times really because you've got more scope to make this bike faster. Normally I do I like to have a tinker myself and ha have a bit of um, a look around, do a bit of research and uh, you know just try to put some aftermarket products on the bike and, and get the bike going faster. But this year it's completely different and it's quite exciting. Um, we've, we've managed to get from Yamaha UK a GYTR kit. So that, that's the full kit, which I'll, I'll open in a minute. I have already opened it, but, but we'll, you, we'll let you have a, a little sneak peek to see exactly what you do get when you purchase the kit. Um, the kit itself is £2,900, but there is a lot of kit. And let's go and have a look and um, look inside Pandora's box. You've always got to look at the pipe first, haven't you? So this is obviously, they're pressed, aren't they? But that's um, it's impressive pipe there. As you know, this year as well, also the exhaust pipe, you know, it does actually fit into the cylinder. It's not round, so you haven't got that stump or lug that sits off the cylinder um, like it does in the, the previous model, on the 21 model, and then the, the, the pipe slides over. This year it's actually would that be a male fit going into a female? So, GYTR silencer. It's a trick bit of kit, isn't it? Shorty, sits there, looks awesome on the, looks awesome from the back end on a YZ125, this does. And, um, and it's, its sound definitely matches its looks as well, that's for sure. But we wanna know about the performance. And I'm sure that, it complements the rest of this kit, and there is a lot to be seen. If I, um, if I have a look through the high performance kit, if we have a little look, see what we've got. Um, cylinder head, removable combustion chamber insert, uh, ported cylinder, I've got bolt studs, piston, uh, piston rings, piston pin, circlips, CDI unit, exhaust pipe we've seen, silence and we've seen, V-Force. The V-Force is actually quite interesting. I'm led to believe that um, the V-Force is just um, a previous model, so it's a different year. Uh, Carburet setting kit, carbon ignition cover, cylinder head, ported cylinder, piston assembly, CDI. Let's have a look. What, what's the numbers do we get? So needle. Needle is a Y3, main jet 172, uh, 175, 178. The power jet, that's all new for this year as well. Obviously the, the power jet carburetor, which works in sync with, um, with the CDI. And the carb is an interesting fact actually, to be fair. I'm gonna be quite interested in what, what, the, um, what the kit does and what settings is recommended because this year the carburetor is a lot bigger than the previous year and I've had, already had a lot of people mentioning um, about that the, the bike feels a little bit sluggish to the, to the 2021 and I did explain in the previous video that, um, you know, what, what I found was, was um, I, I have changed the, the, the jets on, on the carburetor or on my bike but what I, what I really focused on was, I just changed the sprocket in because the reason why I changed the sprocket in and went down two teeth on the rear was that I found that then I was riding the bike around in, in the right RPM and the gearing suited the gear ratio. So it felt like I was in the right gears at the right point on the track and the right RPM. Now with this, this year's bike, it really, it really is crucial that you ride it in the correct RPM because if you're too low, down the rev range then due to the big carb that's what you do feel so you do feel that it's a little bit sluggish you know and then it takes a little bit of time to pick up and the time that it does pick up 
you know, you're already kind of in your head moaning about how you've taken that turn. So, so for me, what I did do was I, I changed the rear sprocket, got the bike working in the right RPM, um, felt that I could basically come into the turn, hold second all the way around the turn, and when I was coming out of most of the turns, I could switch to third. Whereas before, I was felt like I was always caught in a little bit in between. So if I was on second, I was too, uh, too high up the RPM. If I was third, I was too low. And then when I'd come out of the turns, you know, you find yourself in all kinds of shapes, you know, doing a bit of um, chicken wing and a bit of double clutching and all sorts. So for me, that, that really that really has been crucial on on this year's bike is um is getting the jetting right if we look at the the power and torque curve which which is shown in the shown here obviously stock is blue and red is with the kit yeah so when i tested that when i tested the bike in italy i did actually test um a, a gytr kitted bike against a stock bike and it was night and day difference and all what I've just said a minute ago, where I like being in third gear, you know, maybe a little bit sluggish, um, you know, with that, it really did make it third um, more drivable around some of the, you know, sweeping turns. And um, I was always being a little bit vague in, um, in talking about the kit to people when they've been asking me, you know, messaging me. And, and the reason being is, is that I wasn't sure exactly if that was going to be the same spec of kit that was going to be sold. Um, but since then, I've been told that actually there's more to that kit now. So the bike that I tested back then in Italy, there's actually more product in the kit now, which makes the bike maybe or clearly a lot better, but we'll find out. So yeah, it'd be interesting to see whether, whether we feel them differences out on track, that's for sure. So also as well, what we've got here then, so this is, this is the V-Force, which will be um, a little bit different. I won't open this up, maybe we'll get the other one off in a minute and uh, compare, see what the difference is there. We've got the silencer, we've got two pistons. So it'd be interesting to compare these in a second against the standard one as well. Uh, I'll just put them back in the box, keep them safe. We've got some jets and a needle. We have, oh, hold up, let's find out. Oh, we've got a nice carbon fiber clutch ignition cover, which is quite good because obviously the plastic one does sweat a little bit. And we have, what else do we have here? Oh, let's give this a little bit of a, Open up. Ignition or CDI. We have, what else do we have here? Ah. So here's the insert, which is quite, quite funky looking. At the present time, I'm not sure what that actually, the head volume is or what the, the squish clearance is. So. Sorry about that, but once we get it fitted, or maybe in the next video, we'll we'll confirm that. And the all important head. It's interesting, isn't it? Big open space there. Must be good for cooling. That, that's important as well, massively, isn't it? Um, you know, keeping a, a YZ125 uh, well cooled. Um, obviously helps massively with jetting and uh, there's nothing worse than uh, let's say an engine that produces um, lots of brake horsepower but you have to jet it insanely out on track because it kind of in my opinion it defeats the object you know you've, you've got a bike then where it's basically just getting over fuel doesn't run efficiently doesn't pick up off the throttle quite as good because because of the amount of fuel that's running through it to to basically help help with the kit, you know, and, and if you can't kind of get a nice balance between the two, um, I don't really care what, what the dyno numbers make, to be fair, because at the end of the day, we have got to ride it out on track, and it's all work very well saying you just scream a one, two, five, or hold the throttle wide open, but you actually do need it to pick up. So, them transfer ports are quite thin, aren't they? So it'd be interesting to, to show you these once we get the standard cylinder off. One of the main things regarding with a, with a cylinder is always quite interesting, you know, the theory behind the 
the port and everybody always looks at it and looks at this and wants it all nice and shiny and you know and flowing in but actually it's in here i mean don't get me wrong that that does help but there's a lot of uh there's a lot of theories now you know whether it's uh, the fuel circles, you know, circulates and provides us a better, a better mix when it, when it comes into the cylinder um, rather than it just kind of flowing and, and plopping in. So there's, depending who you speak to, what tuner you speak to, you will get obviously what they think. But it's in here where you really need to be looking. You know, just making sure that all of this is nice so it flows in nice, which it does. It does here, that's no sharp edges, it's nice. Cool. Let's get to work. Let's get this bike stripped. Let's have a look. Excited. Um, and hopefully we'll, we manage to get it done and get up in the field and just give it that, you know, that test. Right, so we've got all of them bits. Right, we've got all them bits sorted. So you can, you can really see that they've gone to work and work quite hard on the, on the GYTR cylinder, which is this one. So if you look here, you can see um, from the inlet port, the two inlet ports which are here, obviously if you look at the bridge, you can see how thin it is. Look how thin that nicker seal is there. Compared to the, the stock one. There is a few other differences, but obviously we'd have to, we'd have to be measuring those. Um, so it's quite exciting really looking at this cylinder because they've done quite a bit of work to it. Um, and I'm sure that if you give it to another tuner, there might be a few other little bits and pieces that they could do just to squeeze that extra bit of horsepower out. They've just concentrated on the, on the main areas where, the, you, where you make big gains. Normally as well, previously on the GYTR kit, you did get power valves. Whereas on this kit, you don't get the power valves, which I don't think is a bad thing. Because personally, um, I've experienced some horror stories or nightmare stories when people have ground away at my power valves. Because you can, you know, if you do remove too much material, you can't add it back. There's definitely a fine, there's definitely a fine line in the, in the, in the tuning world between, um, you know, making power and losing power. So if we're looking at the standard head, which is this one, um, and if we're looking at the head volume, you can see it's a different shape. Looks like there's more head volume there, doesn't it? But what's interesting really is the cooling. So if we, if we put the insert on, it seems that the GYTR head has a complete different design for cooling. Yep, so if you noticed, the cooling points here, whereas on this it's more, more open right there on the back part of the cylinder coming up. So it seems to be a, a completely different design for cooling. Also as well on the standard, you've got these points here, which are quite slim and on here, it looks like it's, it's gonna, the pressure's gonna build up, it's gonna fly, it's gonna squirt through. Yeah, because of the holes. And on the exhaust side, it's smaller as well. So it seems like everything's coming up or everything's coming up, squirting up through these points and going out. A bike that produces a lot of horsepower obviously sometimes requires a lot of fuel, which is normal, but it's whether it requires a lot of fuel to keep the engine cool and to stop the bike from detonating. Whereas this way, it looks like that they've, got a, they've, they've come up with quite a good cooling system the difference also as well with the standard ring as you can see won't fit in GYTR piston just interested just to have a little look here because as you can see this is a V-Force it's a V-Force 3 not the V-Force 4R. This is the new one that comes standard on the bike. And then this is the free, which comes in the kit. If you look here, under the fins divide, look, they're a lot further back there. 
the shape seems to be a little bit different. You can see as well. The design is just slightly different. Also as well, the reeds do seem to fit blush there, don't they? If you can see there, they're, they're on top. Over here, they're fitted in. But the crank's sealed, look, on this one. So the, ca the cases are completely different. So you, for example, to make it in simple terms, that 21 crank was so visible. So obviously a longer comrod. So it's not just a case of just a, a longer comrod in a 2021 machine. The cases are all completely different as well. Even the inlet, how the fuel is forced to the cylinder and the piston. Been a double treat kind of day. I've got a good cake and I've got a good bike. Obviously put the um, GYTR kit on the 2020 uh, 125 to YZ and um, warmed it up, threw some kit on, had to have a little run round just to kind of run it in the, in the field. And then, um, you know, as you do, you do get a little bit excited and needed to, just needed to test her, just to get that, test it, just test the bike, test to see what the power's like on the bike and uh, see if it's got a little bit of top end. And you know, it's certainly got all three, that's for sure. It's got a good response. It's got, you know, it's got a very good response from the bottom. It's got a good mid range and it's certainly got a good top. I didn't have to cover the clutch. You could just come straight round, roll it with a throttle and the throttle just, you know, it reacted rear wheel, good connection. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy. I'm, I feel quite confident that the, um, that it's going to be just it's going to be just as good, if not even better, than the one what I tested in Italy. So yeah, next step now is uh, to get out on track. Um, you know, try and um, get the carburetor set up for me and the conditions that I'm riding in, and then we'll report back. But for now, it's sweet. <laughs> 